What's up you guys? It's me. Today you guys, we are doing an unboxing of Brandon Blackwood. I actually have never bought any of his bags. He recently did a biannual sale on his website and I was able to snag two items. I don't know if you can see, but my dog is literally sleeping right there. So if you hear any weird noises, it's not me, it's the dog. But I was able to pick up two items from his biannual sale. I actually have been looking at Brandon Blackwood bags for a minute and I was about to buy one literally earlier the week before he did his biannual. So I'm so glad I waited because I would have been so mad that I didn't get it on sale. So I picked up this box yesterday and I waited until today to unbox it for you guys because I wanted to get my genuine reaction. I've been wanting to try his brand out and I'm super excited that it's finally here. So, I want to unbox it. I'm so scared I'm going to cut something. This is the worst part of unboxing packages for me. My dog's going to get interested in whatever's in this box. And then it's actually packaged with like some bubbles. And then inside we have Mr. Blackwood. I'm actually going to do this one first. This is also like individually bubble wrapped. Oh my gosh, the packaging is so luxe. Okay, so this is the first item. Come to the time? Okay. <laughs> so this is the first item that I picked up from the sale. Such cute packaging. It does have a couple of scratches on it. She was she was a beat a little bit. But open her up and I got some sunglasses, you guys. These look so cute and I'm so scared for what they're going to look like on because I had no reference and I haven't seen anybody with these in particular. I actually watch a lot of Lavishly Chi Chi's videos and she is the person that put me on to Brandon Blackwood sunglasses, but I don't think she has this style. These are so cute. These are so cute. Okay, I was really scared that they were going to be too small because I don't really wear small sunglasses, but these are them. I think the name of them is Soza. These are the Soza sunglasses. Oh, they feel it's giving rich. These feel heavy. This is actually my first pair of designer sunglasses. I don't have any pair of designer sunglasses or like luxury sunglasses high end. It's never been something that I've wanted to have an investment in, but these, I saw these on the website and they were on sale for 60 bucks. I think they're normally like $120. Um, so I picked them up and they look so cute. I just did my makeup for the first time in like a million years. So I'm kind of scared to put them on right now, but let me see. Okay, you guys, sorry if the angle changed. I had to make some room on my memory card, but back to what I was saying, we're going to try her on. Oh, she's giving, she's giving Matrix, babe. She's giving straight up Trinity vibes. I'm in love and y'all know the B for Britney. It's giving on the side. I love these. These are so cute. These are definitely like, I'm running errands. Don't talk to me. Lavish luxury. I'm in love. I uh, am so glad I watched Chi Chi's video or else I would have never thought to purchase any luxury sunglasses. I really, really, really want Prada sunglasses as well. That's the first brand that I ever saw their sunglasses. I was like, I would actually wear that. But I'm in love with these little Brandon Black was this. Yeah, they are called Soza in black. Okay, y'all. It's time for the big mama. We're going to take her out. I've seen so many unboxings of Brandon Blackwood's bags because I've just been so excited to get mine in the mail and I finally got it. So this is what the box looks like. Shiny white. Open her up. The monogram logo is in here. This smells like a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but this box is giving new shoe box vibes. If you guys didn't know, my uh, one of my first jobs was working at Journey's, a shoe store, so it's just giving me nostalgia right now. But I have envelope. I have the thank you notes from Brandon Blackwood. So, so cute. I love the attention to detail and the branding for his bags. And then this is something that a lot of people have been noting. There's actually like a little foam around the bag to protect it during shipping, which I can really appreciate as a consumer because the last thing you want is for your Brandon Blackwood to be in pieces, babes. So we're going to take her out. Got her a little dust bag. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a couple of months while I moved into my new apartment, you guys know I'm... I'm trying to give black girl luxury vibes. I'm rebranding, girl. She's a soft girl life. She's a luxury girl now. So I'm excited to have all of these different types of brands in my collection. I'm working my way up, girl. Just wait. But I'm so excited to have my first Brandon Blackwood. I'm really into the black girl luxury vibes. You guys know, you guys saw my Telfar obsession. I do have a couple in there. And I need to grow my collection. So if you guys know any black luxury designers, leave them down below. I actually saw a girl mention one in a video. I don't remember the name, but I'm going to put it on the screen. And they have such cute bags. I actually know two, Lavishly Chi Chi and another girl that I was watching. I forget her name off the top of my head, but they have two different black luxury brands and their bags are so fire. I'm definitely gonna have to pick some of those up as well. I've also just been looking at just 
random like mid-range bags as well. I'm building my handbag collection, girl, but this is Miss Blackwood and we're gonna open her up. If you guys did not know, I am a Leo. My birthday is August 2nd and my birthstone is a peridot. With that being said, you should probably know what color this is. Okay, this... Look at that. I should have put green in my inner corner instead of blue. This is so badass. It looks so much cooler in person. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. She does have like a little, a little dent right there, but it's not that big of a deal to me personally, especially because it's on the back of the bag. She is pretty squishy, so maybe I can squish her out. This is the prettiest, and I'm not a green person. I'm not a green girl. I prefer pink. This though, like this is, this is everything. This, if you guys do not know, this is what he likes to call the Kendrick trunk. Um, this is the regular Kendrick trunk. He does have a mini version of this, but I know myself and I'm not a tiny bag girl. I can be on occasion, like if I really put my mind to it, but I am not on the regular. And just in general, she's not a tiny bag girl. So I knew I wanted a like reasonably sized bag. And it's so funny, I was actually at work today and somebody had a Brandon Blackwood, so. I haven't seen any in person yet until today. And what a coincidence, I'm filming this video. So I need to unbox her immediately. This is so beautiful. This is like the most unique green shade I've ever seen from any designer or bag in general, whether it's designer or not. This is so cute. The regular Kendrick trunk, and I forget what color this is. I will see if I can find it. This is the Kendrick trunk in metallic green. So that is the formal name for this purse. It has the B silver hardware, and I got this in silver hardware. I think this is the only option for this specific colorway. And then this bag does have feet on the bottom. These come off. I've been watching my videos and doing my research. Um, I'm probably gonna have to fight with them later. Oh, no, one came off right there. They're like little rubber covers for the feet. I don't tend to leave my bags on the floor. I think that's bad. So I don't put them on the floor. I all the time either have them in my lap or have them in the seat next to me. So I probably won't be using these feet a lot. Even if you do just sit your bag on the table, I think having feet is a really good option. So I'm glad that these have it. I really wanna open this up. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna take the protective wrap off of this just yet because I'm not going to use this anytime soon. Um, I just really loved, oh, it's so cute. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, I can't concentrate right now. It has the B, you flip it up, and this is how it opens. The only con that I have for this is that it does not open very far, so you really do have to like stick your hand in there. But this is the chunk, if you guys can see. It is fairly spacious. This is like the size of like, I would say an oversized clutch for reference. That's just the first thing that came to my mind. That's what it's giving. It's giving a little bit more than your daily essentials for the spacing in here. From an everyday girl perspective, that's what it's giving, okay? It comes with a crossbody, which if you know anything about me, I'm a crossbody hoe. I am not a top handle girl. I'm trying to transition into being a top handle girl, but I just don't think it's for me. It has to be a really special occasion. I'm actually going to two weddings this year, so maybe I'll be a top handle girl at one of those weddings, but for right now, she's she's giving crossbody. And also, this is another one that could be dressed up definitely for sure so maybe if i was going somewhere really really dressed up and i didn't want to have the whole crossbody i could definitely just hold it handle or even like this just looks i was gonna say the crook of your arm but i just don't like the way that looks so i would definitely do more of a top handle situation with this but i love the color that's the main reason why i got it i actually was trying to get the limited edition tattoo um trunk but when the sale dropped, my Apple Pay was glitching and it sold out before I could purchase it. So I got this one instead, but I am really happy with my purchase. This is definitely unexpected. I was not planning on getting this bag, but this is a bomb ass color. I feel like this is a really good quality metallic. It doesn't look cheap. It looks expensive. It looks new and fresh. I love the color of this. Your girl's just trying to level up in every aspect of her life. And the handbag collection is definitely a main target right now. So I'm really excited about my Brandon Blackwood. And also the glasses were very unexpected but I really love the way they make me look. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.